look at this fucking gorgeous thing over here. That looks to be a Fargo or a Dodge 1938, I believe. Hey? Wrong? It's okay, nobody's perfect. 37. It's not Fargo, it's not a Dodge. That's right. That's the same affair. Ou quasiment, anyway. Félicitations, mon ami, c'est vraiment une très, très belle. Moi, je cherche toujours qu'est-ce qui est différent, qu'est-ce que j'ai jamais vu, qu'est-ce qui est spécialement peut-être pas muscle car. J'essaie d'être nice quand je dis ça, tu sais. C'est pas que je les aime pas, c'est parce qu'ils sont tellement communs, tu sais. Man, the color on this is friggin' fantastic. I'm trying not to swear for my excitement. <laughs> Fucking beautiful midnight blue. C'est ça, midnight blue? C'est quoi? Hmm. Tu veux que le restauré ou? A to Z, eh? Oh, very nice job, my friend. It's got a nice 50s custom look to it, 60s. What kind of wheels are on that? It looks like Chrysler wheels, eh? You know, that reminds me, I was downtown today, and I walked by this whatever clothing store, and they had the hood with the grill of a Massey Ferguson tractor from the 50s, and they were using it as a table. Yeah, for shoes or whatever. It's vraiment... It's the clever. Let's see. There's a nice Model T there. It looks like a little cabriolet. Matter of fact, it looks like a car that I know a guy has with a weird, some really weird windshield posts, which are definitely redone. Very nice. Oh, excuse me, mon ami. Je suis en train de faire un beau vidéo de ma chaîne sur YouTube. Let me give you my car there. Uh, mon nom c'est Elton, comme Elton John. Ça c'est mon ami Adam. He's my protege. There you go. Uh, j'ai, uh, excuse-moi, j'ai plus que 8000 abonnés, fait que c'est c'est sérieux. C'est pas juste des voitures anciennes que je filme. Uh, pretty much anything transportation. Je suis un maniaque. I never get enough. Si tu verrais mon appart à Montréal, c'est like a museum. So I'm gonna take a guess here. I'm gonna say 318, 360, 383. Don't tell me it's a 350. It is. Ah, damn it! Nice. It's I'm a 350. That's it. I'm no, okay. Extra. He's right. It is extra. It's not. He's right. To say the least. I'm gonna have to brighten up this video because it's too uh, too dark right now to really get a good look at it. Uh, there's too many people here. Man, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh man, that looks like Rich's Cobra. Is it? Wait a minute. So can I cause que toi t'es grand aussi? Really? Non, normalement le truc arrête ici. T'en vas que dedans, tu t'assois dedans, le pied comme ça. 1930. Ouais, c'est drôle. Il y a bien des gens qui savent pas que dans le temps, les gens étaient plus courts, cool, ils étaient pas aussi grands. C'est pour ça, c'est comme par exemple. Oh wow, look at that. Pop out doors. Le siège commence ici, normalement. Ben oui. Ben oui. Puis là, t'avais le gros steering. Yeah. Et le big steering wheel. Un gros steering d'autobus. Wow, you're a hell of a craftsman, my friend. What's your name, by the way? Philip. Philip, nice to meet you. Elton, like Elton John. Tu viens de quel coin? Look at the quality he did. Look at the, the pouch here and everything. It's all details with this truck. I love old cars that are not just well restored, but all the little details, the metallic it's got paint. Electric tailgate too. Really? And all my, uh, all the buttons are here. Oh, wait. Start the button. What's flashing? Oh my Start God, look at that. You push a button, it's like an elevator button. It's amazing. I like elevators too. <laughs> I'm a weirdo, you know? You know why? Because cars today are so fucking dull, that's why. They're so flat, tellement, And And look at this, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Check out those wheels. He's got, like, stock rims. He's got the trim rings. He's got, the, the like, a dog dish hubcap. And he's got that bullet cap on the middle. And are all those people finally gone? Yes, good. All right. I can finish my video now. You know when you're a perfectionist. Thank you, kiddo. I was just waiting for everybody to clear up because the lighting's better on this side here. Not that I'm not looking at that Model T, though, you know. Because I know a guy who has one, so... You know. Well, there you go, guys. That's a hell of a machine. Considering it's pitch black, they're almost, uh... I think 
think it's still going to come out real sweet. Very nice. Very nicely done. Well, very nicely done, Phil. Nicely done, too, on the split bumpers there.